We're going to react to somebody who's bleaching her hair and ruins it. This might be a bad idea. I don't know. You know, though. You know from the title. You know because the video will already be made while you're watching this. But as of now, I have no idea what's going to happen. Basically, I want to give myself baby lights to retouch my roots. They aren't even that bad, but it really bothers me, like, up in here, like, face framing. Because I kind of have, like, a red reddish hair that's also brunette and blonde at the same time it's just gross it looks puby oh it's difficult to do highlights but to do baby highlights that's more difficult because it's really 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 fine really fine work to do that by yourself not easy i just you know this morning i woke up and i was just like hey i need to fix my roots i don't want to go to the salon i don't want to pay 300 dollars and five hours out of my day to get my roots done. So why don't I just go to Sally Beauty and get some stuff and do it myself? And you think you're going to do it in one or two hours? No, no, no. I don't really know what I need. Um, I know I definitely need like bleach and a toner. I'm honestly hoping that the worker at Sally Beauty knows what I need. Uh, if not, we're gonna have a bit of a problem, but it's fine. We'll deal with it later. Yeah. Also, just to say, if it wasn't obvious enough, I have absolutely no experience bleaching my hair or doing anything with my hair, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's a cold day in Canada. Yes. The guy at Sally Beauty, oh my God, he was so nice. He was so nice to me. He asked me if I knew what I was doing. I lied. I said yes. He knew I lied. And he set me up with everything that I need. So, uh, Sally Beauty haul. So, everybody is always saying that the people at Sally's are not knowing what they are saying. But if you are not honest, they cannot give you the right things or say the right things. So, he maybe didn't say a few things because... You said you know what you're doing. <sighs> First, we got a brush with a very fine end thing. And then I got a bowl. I know this is kind of unnecessary. I was just going to use one of my food bowls. Then I figured, oh, like bleach in my food bowl. Like, I don't know if I trust that. So I got an actual color bowl. It's very cute. It's purple. I love it. So he said, get a kit of things. Uh, this is be bleach, please. Never heard that before. Bleach, please. I got a toner in very light blonde. And then I believe this is developer. Okay, I've thoroughly read the instructions and Okay, I have changed my shirt into this old thrifted shirt. I'm assuming someone got from like a Mexican restaurant. I'm not afraid if I get bleach on it. I barely ever wear it, but wearing it now, it's actually super comfortable. I kind of like it, but let's ruin it anyway. So basically, I'm mixing all this together. Do I need this much? No, probably not. It's just my roots, but I'm going to use it all I got my hair done in August and my hair grows stupid, stupid, stupid fast. You're lucky you are not that dark. It's light blonde, your hair. So your regrowth is less obvious than if you are very dark. And so my roots are always just like, <laughs> just all over the place. And uh, I doubt I'll ever do this again. If I do, I'll get a new kit. I won't use as much, but just to be safe, I want to use all of it. Ow. Let's get to bleaching and mixing and let's just start! Bleach, please. Oh my god, it's filling up the entire bowl. Is that allowed? Is that okay? Of course, of course it has one of these stupid little cap things. It's not coming out very easily. So it's a cream bleach. It's not a powder. So cream bleaches are mainly made 
to, to applicate on the scalp because it's more gentle for scalp applications. I'm not even joking. That took 20 minutes to get this all out of the bottle and I had to cut it and I don't even think I got all of it out of the bottle. This is already not worth it. No, it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Hey, you don't want to spend five hours at the hairdresser. So are you already having one hour now? I found a old plastic Tupperware container that no one uses, hopefully. Um, oh. This is getting everywhere. This is stupid. Guys, I hate this. I don't want to go my whole life scared of bleaching my own hair. So, you know what? We're breaking down walls. We're breaking through fears. We are activating our life. I hope you are thinking that way when you're finished. So I'm kind of going to work with this top section, this stupid stuff underneath that I absolutely don't care about at all. I'm going to tie back. Let's get some bleach. Yeah, this is a good idea. This is such a good idea. I know it. I feel it in my soul. I feel it that it's not going to be a bad idea. It's going to be a terrible idea. Sectioning is in commence. Now with the video I watched, she kind of worked from left to right. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. We'll see how that works for me. Have you mixed the cream bleach very good? Because cream bleach has the intention of not smoothly pasting. It's really difficult to mix. Okay, I think this is like a good section of where like I want to start kind of. All right, now for baby lights, I don't know if you'll be able to really see what I'm doing if- This is not a tutorial, by the way. Oh, good God, no. Do not follow what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't do it. That's how I seen them do it. Do you even know why they are doing that? If you are folding a lip, that's because there are bleaches that are swelling up. And if you are folding, then the bleach is not going on your roots. But that lip is one big lip. So you don't know exactly why they did it. So you are just copying an, 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 a thing that you don't know the meaning of. So that's why they are folding, because bleach is swelling up and otherwise you have a stain. But hey... There will be stains. In the salon, so that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'm taking some bleach. Have you waved? You don't wanna get it too close to the root. And then no. also, you wanna keep it. What? Have you waved it? You want baby lights. If you are taking transparent sections transparent is saying just a straight section not waving so if you are coloring these transparent sections it's just going to be one section blonde that's not going to be b pretty that are not baby lights she's trying oh, oh. my foil fell it's not horribly going horribly horribly wrong. Here I've got my next little section. If you can hear me or over the tin foil. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. I'm gonna keep going. This is hard. All right. Time lapse time. So basically, yeah, I just kept doing my hair with the foils. Um, during the middle of this, my phone ran out of storage and stopped the time lapse. So you don't see the whole thing and it kind of jumps ahead to me with all the foils in because you have to be fast with bleach and I didn't have time to delete things on my phone so I could keep filming because I think your hair can like come off, fall out or something and I didn't want that to happen but I think I saw some waving. That's a good thing. This was hard. My arms were hurting and it took a very, very long time.
longer than the five hours that you were spending at the hairdresser? It's going pretty well, actually. I had to take the foils out on this side because it's like ready, it's done. It's pretty blonde. It's a little bit yellow, but I think the toner will fix that. Um, this, I did a little bit thick. Um, that, that are not baby lights. You know, it really says I did my hair at home and that shows integrity, that shows I have patience, that shows that I'm a go-getter at her doer person. Yeah! Basically, I have to wash this out. These ones are still going a bit longer. They're still a bit too yellow. So, let's see, is this one ready to do? Maybe this one is. I can take out a foil with you guys. Oh yeah, that one's ready. Let me see. I'm gonna wash the bleach off and like dry my hair and we'll come back and put on the toner. Oh, 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 oh my God. That's bad. It is pretty yellow. Not just yellow, spotty. In here, like very brassy. Up here, very brassy. Um, in here is good. In here is good. In That's not good. That are not baby lights. That's just chunks of hair that you bleached. That are not baby lights. Here is fine. I'm wondering if I maybe didn't leave the bleach on for long enough. No, 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 no. That's not the reason. I'm really hoping this comes to the rescue and saves me this toner because if not uh, You're going to put the toner with 20 volumes What will going to happen now is all the hair all your regrowth all the hair that you didn't bleach are going to lift now you're not going to have highlights anymore because your natural color is going to lift that's maybe also a good thing to have the spotty and the brassiness to go away. So you're not going to have highlights anymore. You're going to have a full blonde. I hope this will turn out good. But the title says, ruins it. I'm gonna have to go to the hair salon. Skunk vibes. Why is this so white? <laughs> What's going on again? Oh no! <laughs> it's definitely very yellow. Just to say this is a bad idea. If you think you can bleach your own hair and you have no experience, uh, you can't, don't do it. Bleaching is one thing. Highlighting, that's the most, you have bleaching of, li of difficulties and then you have, I cannot reach it, highlighting yourself. Oh, don't start that. Okay, I need to blow dry and then put this shit in immediately. Immediately. I need to fix this. I need to fix this now. Okay, so I am mixing my developer. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. You will need more. On the instructions, it says to do it on dry hair, dry and wash hair. But I was just watching a video and it said if... Like you just bleached your hair, you can use a deve to toner developer on wet hair. I have way too much bleach. Damp hair. Not wet hair, but damp hair. So I'm going to be really meticulous of where I put this because some of the spots are already really light and don't need it as much as some other spots. Woohoo! Terrible, terrifying. I am scared for my life. What is my mom gonna think? Is my dad gonna hate me? Am I gonna get kicked out of the house? Your dad is going to laugh. I hope they're going to laugh. Just lather it. Just absolutely lather that shit. <laughs> what do I do? A part of my brain was like, I hope it turns out like shit because that would be really good content. Well, it did, so. Is it bad? Yes. Is it terrible? Mm. Yes. That's for you to decide. I'm just panicking at this point. I need someone to help me, whether it's Brad Mondo, whether it's Jenna's Ratchet Salon. I just need some help, please.
please? Anyone. <laughs> Why do I sound like Sarah Paulson? Oh my god. Oh my god, don't give me a cupcake. I don't want a cupcake. <laughs> okay, so it's definitely starting to look a little better. You already see that her natural color is lifting. A little bit. Um, from this toner and developer. It's only been about three minutes. Moment of truth. Did the toner help my hair at all? It helped because you mixed it with 20 volumes. So, but it's the question is going to be how yellow is your natural color going to be lifted? That's the biggest question. The spottiness will be less because you lifted your natural color and the differences will be less obvious, but it will be yellow at your roots. Actually a little bit, it actually did. I'm gonna explain what I think happened because the sides here look really good. They turned out perfect. Um, I think I didn't leave the bleach for long enough at the top of my head. Also, I think I did too thick of sections at the top of my head, but it definitely doesn't look like a skunk lives on the top of my head anymore. Like I said. Which I'm pleased about, but I'm going to let my hair dry and then we will see if I should bleach it again. Oh yeah. Um, as for the feeling of my hair, it feels fine. It feels how it did exactly before I bleached it. Um, I've had no fallout or anything, but I'm, I'm good with this. Like if, if it's dry and it looks fine, like I'm not gonna bleach it again. Um, but since it's such little sections, I think I could get away with bleaching it again. I'm gonna wait for it to dry, but I'm okay with this actually. This is not horrible and yeah, it's, it's fine. I also used a bit of purple shampoo in the shower as well. I'm not sure if that did anything. I'm sure it helped a little bit, but yeah, it's definitely still yellow up there. <laughs> My hair's dried. So I don't know what that toner did, but it worked a miracle. <laughs> it lifted your natural color. So you have a yellow roots, but the spottiness and the brassiness is gone. But you have yellow roots. You don't have baby lights. I don't know what happened, but this is not bad at all. Like I'm actually quite pleased with this. It is a little yellow on the top. It is a little yellow. It's a little brassy but like not bad at all. It's not so bad than it was after the highlights or the baby lights, as you said, but that was not baby lights. It's better. It is actually better. Um, I think if I left the bleach on there, like for an extra five minutes, it would have been perfect. No, 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 no. Equally spotty. The sides look amazing. Like all in here is nice and blonde now. And like the sideburn piece that I hate so much when it gets super grown out is like blonde. It looks really good. I'm gonna take you guys into some natural light cause I haven't seen my hair in the natural light yet. So we will go do that. And you were lucky that your natural hair is not that dark. If you were darker, then your roots will be more yellow. Press one of these videos to see more hair fells and hair tips. Have you learned from this video? Have been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is ciao kus.